half a day. I'm Corporal Phelis out of Utah, representing the 97th Troop Command and the 144, competing here in Guam for the best warrior competition. So the ACFT is a super complex physical fitness test that's measuring so much stuff, your strength, your power, your endurance. Start to finish, the obstacle course was a great test of coordination, agility, strength. You have to run up and down the weaver, you're jumping over things, climbing up ropes, lifting yourself over obstacles, your forearms are tired, and then after that you're climbing up a huge cargo net. Your body's not doing what your mind's telling it to do, but you just gotta keep pushing, and then finally you get down and uh, you think you're done, but you're not, because now you got to go run and jump into the marina and swim for 150 meters with your gear on, your boots on. And then after that, you're jumping out of the pier and you're running a mile and a half uphill, soaking wet, sun's on you, up to the shooting range. So the game plan for the shooting range was to try and stay as calm as possible because it is a stress test and so the goal is to try and do your best shooting and moving while being extremely fatigued and now you have to focus your breathing, your mind in order to make accurate, precise shots and from there you're doing exercises and obstacles in between shooting so extremely difficult. Land Nav was an awesome course. The biggest obstacle I think is, you know, not only was it dark in the beginning, but there's jungle, there's thick forestry, there's spiders the size of your hands in there. You really have to accurately plot your point, know your terrain association, and know how to read and understand maps. And once you have your points, you need to find the best route possible in order to get to your points. So. The, the fatigue was real, still tired from the day before, sore, it's hot, it's humid, it was raining during our land nav at some points. The test in total was four hours long and a lot of people were out there for almost the entire four hours just trying to get their points. So extremely challenging course, but a lot of fun as well. And from there we did medical lanes where you're reacting to contact and dragging a casualty that weighs 150 pounds and then treating it properly. The events were extremely well-rounded and tested foundational knowledge that every soldier should know. Enter! For months we've been taking five to ten minutes a day and just focusing on our breath work, breathing, clearing our mind. All that has come into play during every event of this competition, especially before the boards. It's so important to understand your breath in that moment and stay calm, taking deep breaths and remaining focused on the questions and your answers. Welcome to Guam Warriors. Okay, we've been looking forward for this event. All right, so give it your best shot. Thank you for uh, giving us the best of your uh, your training, and we're going to see it all unfold today.
it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. This is a four day competition that's going to test every aspect of being a soldier and it, it's gonna test you. It is the best warrior competition for a reason. It truly is the best of the best. Seeing all the people from the region, their best competitors come and it breeds excellence. This environment is something that will push you regardless of your level. Soldiers of the Year are Sergeant Nino from Hawaii and Corporal Faden from Hawaii.